Hello everyone and welcome back to English with Lucy. Now, since I've been having a little bit of criticism, constructive criticism over my really, really long introductions, I've decided to get straight into the video. So today I'm going to be teaching you five ways that you can learn English on a daily basis. So you know, in my last video, I spoke about immersion, immersing yourself in the English language. I'm going to be showing you some ways you can do that on a daily basis. I know there are a lot of videos on the internet that talk about ways that you can fit English into your everyday life. But honestly, when I watch them, I sometimes think, duh, yeah, obviously, of course I'm going to watch movies, listen to the radio and read books. Like that's, that's pretty obvious. So I wanted to talk to you about some other ways that you might not have thought of before. Um, we'll see, you might have heard of some of them, but I often think that the best ideas are the simple ones that just simply hadn't occurred to you yet. So hopefully I'm going to give you some of those today. The long introductions with little updates about my, my life and my silly stories. Let me know and I'll put it back in. But we're trying something new. Anyway, let's get started. The first tip is switch everything to English. Now, you know when you look at your friend's phone and you, you're looking for something and you say, Oi, Tom, why is this in French? And they say, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to learn French. Your friend's a very clever person, but we can take that a step further. So by switching all of your gadgets, I'm talking your phone, your TV, your microwave, your computer, your tablet, everything into English or the language that you are learning, you will be just a step closer to immersion. It will also remind you on a daily basis that you are learning English because it's easy to forget that you're learning a language. I often forget that I'm learning Italian until I see a pizza or an Aperol spritz and I think, oh, oh I haven't studied anything today. Now it doesn't have to stop there. Something that I like to do is when I buy a new piece of furniture or I buy a new, you know, hair product or something, you know, you have all of the instructions in every single language. I try to only read the instructions in the language that I'm learning and try and work out what they mean and see if I learn some new vocabulary on the way. So again, this isn't groundbreaking stuff, but it's a nice way of incorporating um, English into your everyday life. You know, if I'm reading the nutritional information on a packet of cereal, I'll read it in Italian before I read it in English, just to see how they would word something. And you can really look into it. You can see how in your language it's written in a certain word order, but then in English it's a different word order. It's really quite interesting, so try that one out. Now the next one, learn a skill. Now we always talk about the four English skills, don't we? Listening, reading, speaking, writing. That's what we're always examined on in our tests at school. But I'm not talking about practicing one of these skills in English. I'm talking about another skill, like a hobby. Take a hobby and learn it in English. I personally find it very, very boring to sit down with a book and learn and dedicate myself. I'm much more likely to learn a language if I'm doing something I, I enjoy. And I spoke about this in my How I Learned Spanish video. The thing I enjoyed was my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Not that I enjoyed, well, yes. The thing I enjoyed was conversing with my ex-boyfriend. So I was doing that in the language I was learning, but I didn't even realize it at the time, but I was really, really improving my Spanish skills. And you can do this too with English. Something I'm really interested in is cooking. So I like to take Italian dishes and read Italian recipes and follow Italian instructions and watch Italian recipe videos. If I make an Italian dish once a week, then that's about an hour and a half or an hour of Italian immersion every week. So that's a really nice way of incorporating the language into your everyday or your weekly life. Maybe you could set out an English night where you try to make an English or American or Australian dish. Um, our food really, really isn't that bad especially our puddings and our cake. If I have a recipe to recommend to you, I would say try making brownies, which is an American recipe, or sticky toffee pudding, which is, I think, I'm pretty sure it's an English recipe. We always have it at English dinner parties. But there are loads of skills that you could learn strictly in English. You could learn to knit in English. You could play board games in English. As long as it's something consistent that you do on a daily or weekly basis, in English, you're so much more likely to take it seriously because it's something that you genuinely enjoy. 
Tip number three is use an app or program on a daily basis to improve your English. So it's all very well attending a language course or a language school once a week, twice a week. But something else that's really, really helpful is doing a little bit every day. Abbott English got in contact with me a while ago and asked me to have a look at their product and services. And I did have a look and they've kindly sponsored today's video. You can access all of their grammar for free and they've also got 144 video lessons for free as well. It's a very well-priced subscription-based platform. They encourage learning with a natural method that simulates the intuitive learning process of your mother tongue in an online environment. So you learn in a really natural way via short films. They have two tiers of access. You can have the free access, which has all of the grammar and 144 video lessons. And then you can sign up to premium where you get a dedicated teacher who will answer all your questions. You can practice your pronunciation through listen, record, repeat um, exercises where you listen to a word, you record yourself, and then you compare it to the native pronunciation. There are so many cool things on Abra English. I suggest you check it out for yourself. You can sign up using the link in the description box for the free access, and then you'll get an email inviting you to join the premium version of the website if you want to. And if you do want to, they will add a special discount for English with Lucy. One of my favorite words, multitasking. I always talk about multitasking because multitasking has changed my life. I was never productive. I never got anything done. I would always prioritize my leisure time over my work. And uh, once I learned to multitask, I realized that I could have leisure time and do the things I was obliged to do at the same time. And you can do this too. I want you to learn to multitask effectively and use that to improve your English. So, Think of the mundane tasks that you do every day. Obviously, commuting is a big thing, going on public transport. For me, something that takes a massive, massive chunk out of my day is, it's my hair and makeup. I have to be on camera. I like to look a certain way on camera. So I have to spend a little while doing my hair and doing my makeup. And I find it really, really boring. I enjoy hair and makeup, but every single day, it feels like such a waste of time. So I started watching educational videos whilst I was doing my hair and makeup because I didn't have to concentrate 100% on what I was doing. Um, so for me, the thing I'm learning at the moment is about filming and video production. I'm trying to make my quality better. I'm really, really trying. Um, and so that's very time consuming and I have to watch whole videos to learn one small skill. So I'll have them on whilst I'm doing my hair and makeup and I'm learning something whilst doing something I have to do. But another really, really cool thing is that I'll see a video that's maybe 30 minutes long and I will challenge myself to complete my hair and makeup in those 30 minutes. So you're saving time, you're doing something you have to do and you're learning something new do it with English. There are so many fantastic English YouTubers or English TV programs. The world is your oyster. Go for it. It can really, really transform your productivity as it did with mine. Now, number five is something that can improve your grammar, your vocabulary, your pronunciation, your speaking, your listening, your writing, your reading. It can genuinely improve everything. And this is identifying where you are lacking. And this is something that you will have heard me mention before in videos, but I'm reiterating it and repeating it because I think it's so, so, so important. You might have heard me say before, don't wait for somebody to educate you. Educate yourself. Don't sit in a classroom and wait for a teacher to teach you the present simple. Teach it to yourself. And identifying where you are lacking really plays a big part in this. On a daily basis, if you're using a little bit of your English language and you see that you're really, you can't use the conditional, write it down and make a note that that day you are going to study what you don't understand. The next day, if you were listening to the news and they were talking about a storm and you really couldn't understand what they were saying, that day you have to study storm vocabulary. The next day, if you're having a conversation with somebody from Scotland, and you're really struggling to understand their pronunciation, that day you have to revise Scottish pronunciation. And then instead of being in a classroom of 30 people who are all studying the same thing, 
you could call it one size fits all. One teacher is giving knowledge to everyone. Some may need it, some may not. You are taking in the knowledge that you need, nothing more and nothing less. And day by day, you will start improving so much more quickly than your peers. So I, I do think that number five is my favorite tip actually in English, identifying where you're lacking and then educating yourself. There are all the resources in the world on the internet. You can have private teachers, you can use grammar videos like the ones on ABBA English. You've got YouTube here. There are loads of fabulous native teachers here and just ready to explain things to you. If you have a question, it's highly likely that tens of thousands of people before you have also had the same question. The real question is finding the answer and you should be able to find it because it will be there. <laughs> right guys, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. A big thank you again to my sponsor, ABBA English. You can click on the link in the description box and take advantage of the special discount for English with Lucy viewers. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, I've got my Instagram and I've got my Twitter and I will see you soon for another lesson. Mwah!